Hey YouTube, I wanted to show you um, that foundation that I recently did a review on. I want to show you what it looks like when I apply it to my skin alone, not mixed with any other foundation. So my face is freshly cleansed and exfoliated, lightly exfoliated. And um, I also primed and moisturized using my Cover FX mattifying primer with acne treatment. And what I like to do after that is... I just like to use this little squeezy tube and I just make little dots all over my face as you can see. This is how I get the most even application. As you can see it blends right into the lighter parts of my skin. But I make the tiniest of dots, like they're not raised dots at all, like they're very flat, very minimal product. But I'm basically covering my whole face. In little dots. Okay, so once you get your face covered, make sure you don't forget these outskirt areas. So like whatever's left I just put on the bottom of my chin. So I put dots all over my face, and as you can see, it blends into the lighter parts of my face really, really well. The perimeter is not so much, but that's okay. I have a solution for that. So I dab it all over, and then I like to take a brush first, a flat top brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. It's a 116. And I find that, look at that coverage, though. The coverage is really good. I use a brush first to blend it out. I'm using really short sweeping motions and dabbing motions to do this. I like to go on with the brush first and then I take my sponge and go over it. But it just leaves a really pretty finish. I just love the way this foundation looks. Love, love, love. I'm feeling really like, don't take this term offensively, but like basic today when it comes to my makeup. Like I don't really feel like doing anything to my makeup except for like some foundation. I might just do foundation and eyebrows and I kind of don't have time to do much else. Because I want to go print out some things. further my first class but as you can see it's really really easily blendable and when I get to my edges you guys know I just kind of go with the flow lightly sweep it in that area and the coverage is awesome like this is a pretty like full coverage foundation from the drugstore for $9.94 it just looks so pretty on the skin like I just love the way it looks it makes my skin look this is without setting it. That's another thing. This is how it looks without setting it. I need a little bit more on this side. It's also buildable. And again, this is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And I have the shade 95 Coconut, which is the darkest shade. And this 95 Coconut is darker than the Superstay Better Skin Foundation. I'm just going to go on with some more just to have even fuller coverage. Even though I don't really need any more coverage. Like one layer like does it. Just make sure that you're blending into the neck but yeah it applies so beautiful I was like I love this this is really what I've been reaching for ever since I got it and as you can see it really does kind of fit my skin tone well it is just a little bit lighter for the outskirts of my face though but it matches my chest really well. So 
So I'm not even going to like set it today with a foundation. I'm just going to bronze up the outskirts of my face a little bit. And I'm just kind of going around these edges of the forehead region. All right, so once I get it all on with my brush and I'm satisfied with what my brush can do, I like to go in with my damp beauty blender, make sure I get out all the excess water. Oh, I'm still a little too, too, too damp. And it comes with, a, well, it doesn't come with a sponge, but there's a suggested sponge that you use. But it looks kind of janky to me. But then I like to go over it with my beauty blender, just for like extra smoothness. And to help press it into the skin. It just looks so natural, like, you just have to try it out for yourself. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is what it looks like alone without setting it with any powder. And I have really skin. The, oh, the only place on my skin that is actually dry is under my eyes. Like where you see the bag lines, that's where I have dryness. Everything else is oily though. But I like the way it looks without setting it. Like I could wear it out just like this right now and be happy with it. And in a few hours, like I said, when it gets, as time goes on, it is long wearing. As time goes on and your oils start to come through or if you start to sweat or whatever or you start to get oily, you don't look oily. You just look like you have a healthy glow and sheen to your skin. I feel like this is kind of like a miracle foundation for me because normally I like a completely matte, like matte look. But this has really made me like more of the skin-like dewy look because it doesn't look oily and just disgusting like an oil slick when my oils do start to come through so that's all I want to talk about is just show you what it looks like um, alone I may not even add any um, darker powder to the primers in my face I think it looks fine like this so I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my makeup off camera real quick and head to the computer lab a computer lab print these papers and go to class i'll see you in the next video i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of demo and recap of the review that i did let me get let me know what you guys think about the shade and the color and i'll just kind of show you my hands my arms my chest my neck is obviously darker let me know what you guys think about it. I think it looks really, really, really good on the skin. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Bye, YouTube.